Right folks, as you have seen from the thumbnail and the thumb title, I am going to be reviewing this. Camden Hells on the Perfect Draft. Let me do that again so I've got a bit of a thumbnail. Now, it's, it's bloody ever. Six litre, 4.5 volume. Um, now, I'll put that in there in a bit. Um, now, I don't know if we've all known. What I'm going to do is I want to put a... A lot of people have been talking about the price increase on the Perfect Draft from Beer Hawk. Now, I'm not going to defend them, and I'm not going to attack them either. But what I am going to do is have a chat about the price increase. Now, the keg costs £36.90, right? Shipping is four ninety nine. Tax is £6.98. So the total package is £41.89. Um, I ordered this on the 18th. No, I didn't. Delivered on the 18th. I ordered it on the 17th. So it's turned up in a day. Which is pretty bloody good, to be fair. Um, because before, Beer Hawk used to take two days, perhaps three, sometimes how busy they were. Now, I would guess... Oh, fucking noise. Um, I would guess that is probably because people are not affording to be able to buy, being able to afford to buy uh, kegs from Beer Hawk. Now, people I know have criticised Beer Hawk and the price increase. And in a way, I agree with them because this is supposed to be something that you can drink at home that is cheaper than going to the pub. And people are saying, Ugh, it's, it's going to be as, as expensive or as cheap to go to the pub to drink this. And I can understand what they're saying. I don't know how much a price, a, 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 the price of a pint of Camden's is. And I've not actually worked this out because one, I can't be asked. Um, because two, I don't, I, well, I can't price it out because I don't know how much a pint is, to be fair. Um, I don't know. I, I would have thought it's still cheaper than a pint in the pub. But people are talking about the price increase as if, Pubs aren't going to increase their prices. Pubs are closing down because they can't afford to run. You know, these costs are being passed on to everybody. This government and the people in charge of the world keep banging on about a cost of living crisis. And for a company like Beerhawk to continue to run, they are going to have to go with the, the cost of living as well. They are going to have to put out for the electricity, the gas, the water, the fuel that does all this. It is not just something where you can stand still and say, well, we'll keep our prices at the same. It isn't going to happen. It just isn't going to happen where this can stand still. It's the way it is. Things are going to go up. Now you've got a choice. Fortunately, you've got a choice with Beer Hawk. You can either buy or you don't buy. You can either buy or you go down to your local uh, offer and buy cans of the stuff. Now I'm expecting people to do that and vote with the feet that way. And then that way, uh, Beer Hawk are gonna have to think about what they're gonna do. And that'll probably be making people redundant, uh, probably using cheaper materials, um, I don't know. It, what I'm saying is, folks, is that it's happening all over the country. You cannot just say Beer Hawk are putting up. Now, no doubt, other people that uh, are watching this will come and put your comments down below. And I want you to put your comments down below and to say what you think is wrong. Do it respectfully, or I'll just fuck you off, right? I'm here to chat about the beer as well i will be reviewing the beer when the beer's down to temperature i will give you my uh, opinion on it and i will compare it to a camden's uh, out of a can or out of a bottle but all i'm saying is folks is that don't just have a go at beer orc for putting stuff up it's the dozy mare 
in number 10. It's the Dozy Mare in number 11, Downing Street. It's the government and it's the world leaders who are telling us that things are going up. This is the way it is. Yes, I also think that the, that the companies will use this so-called cost of living crisis to put their materials up. But, looking at it another way, I also think that you, the thing is, you want a service, you want a product that does the job. You want it what you pay for. Now, would you be prepared to say, right, you can have this, but you're going to have to wait four days for it. You're going to have to do this. It, or, I don't know, are they going to stop doing collection? Are we going to start where it's going to be, you order it, but then you go and have to pick it up from another shop, another bulk, a, a, a place that's closer to you? Is that what you want? Because this is how it's going. This is how life is going, where we've all been spoilt in the past of free delivery, cheap delivery, being delivered to your door, whatever. Is that going to have to change? Would you be prepared to say, right, I'll pop into the... I live in uh, on the outskirts of Loughborough. Uh, would I be prepared to go into Loughborough to buy it? To be fair, no, I fucking wouldn't. I don't want to, because the car price of fuel... To go and collect it is ridiculous. So this is what I'm doing, folks. Um, this is part one of the video. I'm going to put that in there, let it chill down and review the beer. But I want, if possible, for you to respectfully put your comments down below um, where Beer Hawk could uh, improve, where Beer Hawk could save money, where Beer Hawk could attract the customer again. I mean, personally, I had a deal. I had a brand deal with Beer Hawk. And it paid me handsomely, and I made a lot of money out of it. And I am not sorry for that. That's the way it is. But I am not getting paid by Beer Hawk again. I doubt if I'll ever get a sponsorship or a brand deal with them again. Um, because I don't think they could afford to do what I did. And, and that's the way it goes. And um, I know that I did make them a fair lot of money out of my thing. But So yeah, if you can put down below your comments of how Beer Hawk uh, can save money or your opinions, I'd welcome them. Uh, any abuse, you're gone. Right, I'm going to put this in here and then I'll see you later. Welcome back to the part two, the part two of this beer review. Um, as uh, as you've just seen, I have put this into the perfect draft. Uh, the perfect draft has now chilled it down to the uh, three degrees. Yes, I could make a song, but I can't. Um, so what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to compare it with the Hell's Camden Lager out of a bottle. The bottle is 4.6. Can't remember what that is. If I can't remember, you'll have to rewind the video. Uh, now then, I did actually get this keg, and uh, Beer Hawk have sent a uh, bottle opener. Look at that, folks. Look at that, what you get for your money, hey? It's got a nice little hole, so you can do this. Put it around your cock if it fits, which it won't. Uh, and then it's got the bottle opener thing at the other end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the, uh, the Camden Hells in the, uh, out of the bottle into the glass, uh, and then I'm going to pour a pint out of the perfect draft into my beer, uh, brew dog, not brew dog. Brew London, I know it was something, but I think what it was, there's a picture of a dog on there, uh, and it confused me. Uh, so, Brew London. I don't know why it says Beers 52. Is that a sponsor? Is that a sponsor and all that? I don't know. Uh, so, what happens is you normally start the beer, uh, the brew, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, you start the perfect draft, and normally it gives you a bit of a, a, a bit quick, doesn't it? Oh! 
Yeah, it, it goes fucking crazy. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? Why does it... It shoots out like a virgin schoolboy. So, uh, so while that's doing that, I'm going to take a sip of this. Now, I do like Camden Hells. It is a good beer. Um, I think I said earlier on uh, that it's not the kind of beer that... If it's in a... If it's there on tap, I'll have it. Uh, if it's not, I won't because it's not there, so I can't have it. So it's got a. It does smell a lager. It does smell quite easy and simple, which is what I'm about. I'm this. I've, I've said this before. I mean, Scott from Scott and Wonders World. He'll send me pictures of beers, and it looks like fucking grapefruit from a breakfast, and they, they look fucking ridiculous. It looks like it's got to go through a bloody piece of, what was it, muslin cloth to strain it out. It looks ridiculous. It looks like you could have umbrellas and cherries and stuff in it. And all these beer tubers. Oh, it's a great it taste of the grapefruit. And what, what the fuck are you on about? You're all mad. Right, supping. It's got a dry bitterness to it. If you drink beer, you know what Camden Hells tastes like. It just tastes of uh, just a good simple lager in my book. It's got a bit of citrusy on it, which I'm not overly keen on. But it's there. I do like it. It is okay. <sighs> While that one's still settling down, I'll just finish this one off. <sighs> now, I'm in June taking the dogs for a walk and we accidentally fell into a pub uh, and we've had chili con carne rice um, triangle crisps and <clears throat> we've already had a few and then walk way, walked home uh, June's watching to the man of born on Britbox with that Britbox is fucking brilliant we have watched uh, me and June, uh, we have watched 30 hours of Tenko in two and a half days. We didn't go to bed last night till half 12. <coughs> Watching bloody Tenko. And then we've got uh, watched a few more this morning and this afternoon. So. There it is. Let's let that settle down. I'll tip a bit more into here and then we can compare them, can't we? Now the bottle is £2.20, so I think to buy the equivalent of that is a damn sight cheaper to buy the bottles. It, I, I said at the beginning of this video that I think that the, the prices of beer orc now are over the top. But when all said and done, they're a business. When all said and done, at this moment in time, Rushi has just been sworn in as Prime Minister, which is just going to be a complete disaster uh, for the Tory party, for the country and everything. It's just a fucking mess. The whole thing's a mess. So, there we have it, folks. Uh, pretty much the fucking same, isn't they? And they do look the same. Uh, obviously, you've got a good head on the perfect draft because... The perfect draft is what it says on the tin. So. I mean, that perfect that bottle's been in the fridge for two days. Right? It's down to temperature and everything. And yet this feels so much colder still. Hells is the love child of our favourite German beer styles. Hells and Pilsner. Uh, whatever. So let's sup into this. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh, fucking hell. Now, you see, this is the difference now. This is the difference of the perfect draft machine. I don't claim... I don't claim to know everything about beer. I know what I like. And I like what I know. And that's it. I'm not into all these fancy fucking beers. Marshmallow or whatever, right? I can't be doing with it. It's not for me. Ask Harris. He'll, he'll tell you. Um, but. I've got a bit of wind now. 
<coughs> Chili con carne's farting back. Fighting, not farting back. <coughs> oh, that's better. Now, this is a lot smoother and the taste is a lot crisper. And this is the thing when you have a perfect draft. You get a better product. And I'm not doing this to promote beer orc because I have no association with beer orc anymore. All I've got is this free bloody thing and buy my own drinks. But it has got a taste to crisp, but it has got a fresher, crispier taste to the beer. It's there. It's, it's just a fact. Now, I'm not telling you to go and buy one, but I can honestly understand why people still have them and people still use them. <laughs> the bottle beer is good but this is this is better and it's such a shame it's gone up in price that's got a drier bitterer taste but this this just it, it's right your bottle right let's put it this way your bottle beer's here right well i'm not saying it's down here it's here it's good it's good i like it i like it i drink that i drink that right but this has got that up here it is so much better crisper and cleaner taste and that's all there is to it. I can't... Is it worth the money? No, because only going to... If you've got a bladder like mine, you drink it, you drink two, you drink three, you're going for a piss, and then you're going for a piss every fucking half hour. I drink beer, it just comes out. I piss like a fucking horse. I may as well be red rum. If I stood on all fours, I could piss like red... Can you fucking piss when you're actually kneeling? If you're on all fours, can you piss? I might have to try that in the bath, just to see if it works. How the fuck does my mind work? Does anybody else have any fucking weird ideas like that? Fuck's sake. And the best thing is, I'll put it on video and I won't edit it out, I'll leave it in there. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. The, the the perfect draft machine is what it says on the tin. It is fucking perfect beer. That is just the equivalent of buying it in a pub on tap and drinking it. It's not as dry, it's not as bitter, and this leaves a real nice taste in the mouth afterwards, where that leaves a little dry, bitter taste. And that's it. There you go. That's all I can say, folks. Uh, right, I'll leave that one there, because this has probably gone on for about 25 fucking minutes. There's no need for it. Um, put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please be respectful, or so I will just fuck you off. I don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm all for free speech. Just don't fucking abuse me. All right, folks, leave your comments down below, and we'll go from there. Laters.